Hey everyone, and welcome to Firewatch. Today we are taking a look at this story-rich adventure game from 2016. In Firewatch we experience the story of a man named Henry. The game starts out with a very cinematic choose-your-own-adventure kind of intro to give you a bit of background as to who Henry is and why he's chosen to become a fire lookout far away from everything and everyone. We do get small tidbits of hiking towards the tower mixed in with a handful of decisions through Henry and his wife's lives that define how and why it all turned out as it did. As a fire lookout, Henry's only contact to the outside world is Delilah, our supervisor, who's on the other end of our handheld radio. In today's episode, we'll be starting on our second day of the job. On the first day, we, get, we, uh, we got to hike out to a lake to deal with some drunk teenagers littering and shooting fireworks, which was a fire hazard due to high temperatures. On our way home, we get the notion that someone is watching us. Henry is not quite comfortable with the situation, but Delilah quickly dismisses it as just a random encounter, as she rightly points out we are in a public area and we will undoubtedly run into people on our travels. However, at the end of the day, we get back to our lookout tower only to find that someone had broken into it while we were gone. I'm personally looking forward to playing this and I have high hopes that you'll enjoy it as well and will want to see it as a let's play on the channel. I think personally that it would be a great fit. Without any further ado though, let's, uh, let's try Firewatch. So we'll be waking up here on day two and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what we get into here. Okay, we get a call immediately. I think uh, Delilah do call us on the radio here before, um, but uh, let's uh, let's just go with this. I'm awake, I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup. The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. All right, so uh, last night when we were coming home, there was a storm brewing. So that's what she's talking about. And here we can see that uh, someone in the deck did break in. We do have a map where we can see, but we actually, uh, as we discover stuff there are these uh, there are these caches we can see up here in the uh, just just south of uh, where it says beartooth point it says cache 302 we can copy the information from there and uh, we'll see these uh, it'll update our map for us pretty much these red lines is where we can walk and i have gotten two caches i think so far yes cache 306 right there in the middle on our way to jonesy lake where we had our encounter i think I think that's where it was. Yes. I think so anyway. And on our way back, we got the uh, cache 303. Today we are going north and I'm guessing we're going to guess uh, get to cache uh, 302 there and uh, let's just uh, let's just get underway here. We do need our hat, of course, and we are going to put that on. Yoink. And we will get our backpack as well. Okay. Uh, let me just see. There is a sprint button. Do I remember it? I probably don't. Tackle jog. Okay. Guess not yet. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, here we are. 
And uh, you're gonna see this quite a lot because uh, this is shift and uh, that is what I would like to be our sprint. We need to go north, which is that way. So we, I think we need to go this way, right? I think it's this way. I think we need to pass the outhouse. Yeah, it's over there. Okay, excellent. Air tooth point. Yes, exactly. That is where we want to go. Good, good, good. And this is actually where we found a guy. At the bottom of all this, there was a guy shining a... Uh... Okay, we can just jump, fair enough. That's... Uh... It's quite the drop, isn't it? Maybe not. There was a guy shining uh, his... Uh... What's it called? Torch. Now a face. Actually, we can take a... Secondary route. Don't remember which one I went yesterday. Go this way, shall we? Okay, it looks much higher than it is, apparently. Don't see anything yet. Just check the map here to make sure we're going the right way. And I think we are. Yes. Okay. Oops. During the way, you can you can report in all sorts of things to Delilah that you find. There's all sorts of different kinds of uh, very interesting uh, and and you know funny. Um, Communication with Delilah. Actually, one of the funny things is that you can choose to call this shitty boss is going to get me killed hill. You could choose to call it something uh, something a, a bit more professional, but uh, apparently that's what I chose to call it, and he marked it down as that on the, uh, on the map. Which, uh, to my mind, is kind of funny. Okay, cold morning fork. Yes, sure, it's actually cold out here. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Okay, Julia is our wife. Bucket is a dog. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. He who? I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just continue to talk about Julia here. Yeah. That would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Uh, yeah, she's sick, and I shouldn't be here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm...
I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Okay, so some of the backstory, and I'm not, uh, I, I don't know if this ends the same for, for everyone, no matter what uh, what kind of path they take in, in, in the intro. But I think, if I remember correctly, it's been like a it's been like a week since uh, since I played, maybe even two. I think it's a, it's an early stage of of dementia. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So you know, it's uh, not exactly something that's easy to deal with for anyone involved. And uh, here we have a cast. These are locked, and they ha do have small. They do have some supplies inside. But uh, up here we can see there's uh, there's a map that we'll we we can we can uh, we can. Get, uh, we can we can update ours with and that is uh, one that we I hope we will find soon enough as well let's see we're going north and we seem to be on the right track here so let's just continue okay Where is this leading? This is definitely not the path to take, but maybe maybe it leads to something. Maybe it just leads to the same path. I think it is. I think our original path is right here. Doesn't really change much. Okay. What's that? I thought I saw something. I hovered over something that uh, gave me a prompt, but maybe not. Ah, there we go. Utility pole. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay. Something else? Oh, this is still just a utility pole. Probably just, uh... So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Okay. Yeah, there's something over here that we can check out at least. Thoroughfare fire lookouts. Okay. We are getting close to Beartooth Point though. I, I don't imagine we are going to go to the other lookout. Probably further to the north. A yeah, thoroughfare lookout there. Okay, that's. I would imagine we are not going there. Okay, we do have several ways to go here, but it's. I think I saw something over here behind the rock. Here we go. An old outhouse. Yeah. Okay. It is literally an old outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once. I think. Whoa. Uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I think I'm good. Let's uh, continue. Is this the way to go? Oh, that's even an, that's an old cabin. Okay, it is not the way to go. But let's check out the cabin. Ooh, this is not marked on the map, is it? No. Okay, and uh, they all have a 
Very, very, very difficult to crack password. Hello, a new hat. Korea, Korea veteran. Let's put that on. Yoink. What happens to the old hat? We just drop it, or are we wearing two? Okay. Unfortunately, no, uh, no, no map update. That's a shame. A forty-four. Okay. Don't think that's uh, that's important. But uh, see what we have here. Can we report it? No, not yet. Oh. Okay. Ruined fire. Okay. Secret boxes. Well, those are kind of recent. Okay, we cannot go out there. Downstairs, maybe? Destroyed guitar. And looks like someone has been here recently. That seemed rather uneventful, other than the cigarettes. It looks like someone has been here recently. What was that? Tree poster. Okay. Well, nothing to report, strangely enough, actually. I don't know. I would imagine that this would be something we could report in Delilah, but... I guess not. Fair enough. Let's, uh... Intend you on our way. Did get a new hat though. That's uh, that's not nothing. Right. I guess we can uh, kind of guess where to go with the uh, with the poles. We just follow the power lines. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. It looks like we have uh, quite the hike ahead of us still. Something over there. Is that the cache? Probably is. Oh. Let's go get that. Something over there as well. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Okay, and we have a pine cone that is rather uninterested. We have a board. Oh, hello. Away you go. Six feet under. All right. Well, yeah, let's just drop it because we are bastards. Copy information. Let's see. What did we get from that? Not too much i think maybe we got a cash we got a cut we got something we got the 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 path drawn on so we can continue have a supply drop up there something up there to to go to to watch thoroughfare lookout maybe we maybe we have to go to another lookout at some point i don't know all right uh have a note Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. 
Dave, hey -o, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day, figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We are co-workers, you know. Amigo, amigos professionals. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep that one. Because why not? Okay, um, where do we need to go? I guess we just keep following the power lines. Actually, the power lines is probably... The stipled thingy there that we've kind of been yeah it's it actually even it even says telephone right there yeah so that's what we need to follow. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. The wires down here. Really? Awesome. Could find. It's like I don't know a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill. You can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Excellent. Uh, I did. Can we get down there? No, I did want to go check. What's that? Oh my god, it's a, it's a turtle. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. And let's call it Turt Reynolds. Turt Reynolds. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Oh, look how happy he is. Well, definitely gonna adopt little Turt Reynolds. Wow, amazing. Okay. Uh, east, you say? East, okay. Just want to check real quick if there's something in this clearing here. No, this is that this is definitely a dead end. Okay. Well, that's good. That means we want to go back a little bit and then go not east. Or well, something over here, and that's where the power lines lead as well. See where it takes us. Okay, maybe it's just something to climb on here. Yeah, not, 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 not more interesting than that. That's fine. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Okay, how can these girls be so stupid? Why do you think they'd be up here? Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Yes, ma'am. All right, take it up and let's clean it. He did say a bunch. That was only the one, though. As far as I can tell, anyway. Long drop. Okay. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. There we go, there's the... Uh, there's the beer can. Did we miss one? I don't know if there's anything to do other than... Or if there's any reason to actually do this, but... Can I, uh... I can't grab that one. Didn't we see? Yeah, there's one over here. Can we get this one? Can get this one. Oh, I'm gonna get annoyed if if we can't can't get that one. Okay, well, my OCD is just gonna have to deal with it. And if I can. You went down there too.
Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Ah. Mm, okay. Well, we already know we're not gonna go back the way we came, so there were beer cans down another way. So yeah, I think we just follow this one west. We might go check out the supply drop to the north just because. I don't think we have to. But I'm thinking we go to cache 241 there and that'll probably update us, update our map so we can uh, we can get back home safely. Gotta say these uh, these two teenagers they 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 drank a lot. I mean that's a lot of beers and this is just what we found today. I don't really know where Henry is putting them, by the way. It does say he's cleaning them up, but I mean, he can only hold so many in his backpack, I imagine. I don't think this is the way to go. No. I don't think that's it. Oh. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Okay, uh, did we actually mark that on the map then? Maybe we did, I can't really see due to our icon. Because we it did say we can clear it, but we don't have the tools at the moment. Yeah, it is marked on the map, okay. Well, I'm guessing that's something we'll come back for in the future then. Once we get the get the capabilities of clearing trail. Okay, another drop down. We didn't miss anything. I don't think so, anyway. Yep. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. Okay, Jonesy Lake, two forks. That's where we want to go, but there is a supply drop just up here. Let's just go check out what that is. Real quick, there's anything interesting. Sixty feet. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, one of the code is the same. 
It is. Okay. Any map? No. Two forks. Uh, that is a big old nothing. Okay. Well. Turns out that wasn't super interesting. Is there... I guess we could try and follow the path to Thoroughfare Lookout, but that is not the goal at the moment. So let's let's just uh, let's just turn back. It's four point seven miles as well, so that's that's uh, that's quite a hike. So let's uh, let's just continue with our current quest here to find these uh, these teenagers. I'd be surprised if they are involved, but you never know. Maybe they're just that uh, that 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 annoying. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Pilfer I shall. Brian Goodwin's backpack. Okay, and I don't think we can say anything about it, no. Oh. Rope, very nice. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Ex-lover? What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Uh, do, do, do. Is Ned the guy from that note? Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah, but... I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? All right, fair enough. We now have the option to take pictures. Let us attach a rope. Wink. We can rappel down. Do I need to do something? Yes, I do. do, do, do. Yeah, last time I did this, it, it actually came on. It came loose, so we couldn't go up again. Uh, Oh, there's another one. Okay. Then what? What's that? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Okay. I don't 
thought the map was updated with something. Southwest. I don't really see anything. Well, in either case, we do have a supply cache right down there. That should update our map. Pretty sure that's bugged. What's going on here? That's not. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's real quick try to save the game and and and, and reload here because that's. That seemed a bit odd. Okay, excellent. There we go. Didn't know Henry had the moonwalking capabilities, but that's, uh, I guess he did. Fossil claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Oh, she didn't care at all. Uh, update our map as well. Find the source of the smoke southwest. It's we probably have to go that away. What is that? Is that southwest? Yeah. Seems southwest. We do have another note here. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Okay. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks, up dera picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spots. Alright. Oh. Well. Southwest it is. And I'm guessing it's this way. What does she have? Yeah. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? It was pretty devastating. Devastating? Especially for her? You can understand? And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Okay, it's not the uh, it's not getting any bigger. Looks like there was a forest fire here though at some point. Possibly not too long ago. Okay, where is Column of smoke at. This is a dead end. Let's check where we are on the map. Are we following the correct route? No, we are not. 
I don't think we are. No, we need to go back north. I think we can just kind of look here. Yeah. Okay. And we need to take a left at some point. Oh, there's a fence. Okay. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh, that's weird. Okay, what are they keeping in? Who are they keeping out? What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands even, full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Ha-ha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high-quality information. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. Okay, could the girls be behind this fence? Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Hey, you remember that guy from yesterday? The guy I saw hiking home? Ah, the completely unmotivated vandal. Yeah, that guy. Go on. Maybe he was from this fence place. Hmm, from the land of the fence. Yes. You know what? I'll make a note. You might be on to something. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that would probably be the way I want it to go. Hmm. Well... We could go north and try to go, or we could go northeast and try to go north and see where that leads us, but I might be surprised, but since we are so close, well, I honestly had thought maybe we would get to finish day two here today, but this uh, this day is a bit longer than yesterday, so we we might not get to finish this one in this episode. So, how'd you meet? We met in a bar. Mm. The birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Is this it? This is it? Okay, well. Matt, we checked it out. Let's uh, let's go south then. Let's go through the burnt forest. That's apparently where we need to go. Seems like we need to go all the way south and then 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 turn east. At some point, hopefully, we'll be able to. Doesn't look like we can on the map though. But I don't really see any other options at the moment. Okay, supply drop and thoroughfare. Yeah, that's not really where we are going. But it doesn't get it didn't give us much. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. 
I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Are we still following the road? Actually, we are way further south than I thought. That was quick. Okay. Well, there's nothing to the east where we could go. This is just big rock. So let's uh, jump down here and not break our legs. See what we can see up here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we are getting closer. But it definitely looks like this is it's still a bit away. So uh, I think this uh, this is a good uh, good uh, time to to call it an episode. As I said in the beginning, I have high hopes that this is uh, this would be a very nice game for a let's play on the channel. So definitely keep an eye out for this one in uh, the upcoming boat or let me know in the comments if this is something you want to see uh, on the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Take care.